Hi everybody. In today's video, I'm gonna go over a brand new shipment of phones that I got in uh, the mail today. There's a couple of new models that I didn't have in my last shipment, so we'll be going over that too. So basically, this is gonna be an unboxing video of refurbished cell phones that you can sell on Craigslist, OfferUp, Facebook Marketplace, or even Google. When I first started becoming self-employed, I was actually selling cell phones, unlocked cell phones out of the trunk of my car. I did get into cell phone repair later on, but it's also good to sell cell phones on the side. You can repair cell phones and you can sell cell phones. They can both go hand in hand. Not everybody has the money to buy a thousand dollar phone because that's pretty much anything that you buy right now. It's all $900 and up. All right, so let's go through this unboxing and then I'll go through each model and I'll tell you exactly how much they cost and then also how much you can resell it for. And then all the phones that I do not have in this box, look in the description below and I'll have the price list for all the iPhones and all the Samsung phones that you can buy and resell. Let's start with this unboxing. All right, so here's the box. This is how it looks. And uh, I figure I'd just show you guys this way. Came shipped by FedEx. And uh, we'll see, we'll open this. All right, so we'll just start taking them out and turning them on. All right, so this looks like it's the uh, Galaxy S10, the regular S10. So I sell both the S10 and the S10 Plus. Here's an iPhone 10. Let me just peel the sticker off so you guys can see the uh, how it looks. There it is. So the iPhone 10s that I have, these are fully refurbished. So there's not a single scratch anywhere on the phone, on the sides, on the front, or even the back, or even the bottom. See here by the charging port. This is the first phone that came out that cost a thousand dollars. And I remember like several years ago, there was like a big thing like why are phones so expensive now? But now everybody is used to it now. Like everything that comes out, even the Samsungs, they're like a thousand dollars. And by the way, this iPhone 10 costs two hundred and thirty dollars. You can resell this for add a hundred on it, three hundred and twenty five dollars. Did you guys know you guys can take credit cards too? You do not have to have a business in order to take credit card payments. You can just go sign up for something like Square or Intuit and you can just use your phone to take credit cards and you'll get the money the following day. Like if you swipe, if you take a credit card before five o'clock, you'll get it, you'll get your money in your account the following day. All right, here's another one that I didn't have in my last uh, video that I put out. Galaxy S9 Plus. This one's fully refurbished. Refurbished. Look at that nice white background. The quality of refurbishment is top notch on these. You don't see like old, like red burning images or red background or anything like that. Galaxy S9 Plus, this phone actually costs $149. I would post this at two, uh, S9 Plus, 250 bucks. That's pretty much, that's very close to like a screen replacement. If somebody came into my shop with a damaged display on a S9 Plus, I would charge $200 in my store to replace their screen. Now, 200, just $50 more to buy an actual complete S9 Plus phone, that's a good price. And you would make $100 in profit off of that, 
off of charging 250. All right, so there we have three phones. This is Galaxy S10 Plus. Look at that. Look how brand new that looks. It legitly looks like it's a brand new phone. Like you can't even tell. Nice white background. And the fingerprint scanners work on this on this phone. The fingerprint scanner is through the uh it's through the screen. So that's this is a legit OEM screen. It's not like a knockoff screen. The knockoff screens, the fingerprint scanners don't work on the on the screens. Look at that. They look brand spanking new. Galaxy S10 Plus. All right, so Galaxy S10 Plus, this phone, you can buy it for $223. When this phone came out, because I used to have this phone, my last phone was this phone right here. It's a $1,000 phone. All right, so what is that? The uh, S10 S10 Plus, iPhone 10, Galaxy S9 Plus. Let's see if we can find something else. Let me see. Here's a S10 Plus. We'll just speed this up. I'll tell you what's in here. Another S10 Plus. Oh, here's a Samsung Note 9. Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Check that out. I believe this was also a thousand dollar phone, if I'm not mistaken, when it when it first was released. Has a comes with a note too, or the, the note. S Pen, that's what it's called. Nice white background. Fingerprint scanners work. This one has a double camera on it right there. So this Note 9 you can buy currently for $204. This phone, a Samsung Note phone, you can sell this for $325. All right, let's see, S10 Plus. Let's go through these real quick. There's another S10 Plus, a regular S10, a regular S10, an iPhone 10. There's more phones down here at the bottom. You can even see that. iPhone 10, iPhone 10. What is this one? Galaxy S9. Galaxy S9. This phone right here, there's a lot of people that buy Ga Galaxy A series phones. I would any day would rather have a, uh, a Galaxy S9 over than a 2022 Galaxy uh, A version. When this phone came out, the Galaxy S9, in its time, this was the fastest thing that was out, the fastest Samsung phone. Any S series phone, which I believe it's, I'm not sure, does it stand for speed? But anyways, they are, uh, they'll blow at any Galaxy A series out of the water. A Galaxy S9, you can buy this phone for $128 good price to sell this phone 200 bucks if you want to sell it for a little bit more that's fine all right what else do we have here iphone 10 galaxy s9 galaxy s9 samsung note 9 another note 9 Samsung Note 9. Another Samsung Note 9. 
Galaxy S9 Plus, a Galaxy S10, a Galaxy S10, and a Galaxy S9. So that's gonna wrap it up for the unboxing of the phones that I got. You guys can sell these too, in your city. You don't need a special license or anything to sell these. When I was first selling phones, or even when I was repairing cell phones in a coffee shop for a year and a half, I didn't have a special license. I just posted my stuff on the internet and people called me for it. When people sell their used couch or a used table on Craigslist or on OfferUp, used furniture, their television, do they have some special license? No. Now, because I have a retail store, do I have a permit to sell this stuff? Yes, I do, because I have a retail store, right? But if you're just starting out, you don't need any of that stuff. You just start posting things and just start selling it. When I was selling unlocked cell phones out of the trunk of my car, before I was offering cell phone repair service, I was driving around everywhere around San Diego. If they were too far away from me, I would tell them to meet me halfway. But I would drive to people's houses, I would meet them in Target parking lot, I would meet people like pretty much anywhere. And back when I was doing it, I wasn't taking any credit cards either. The thing is that stuff like this, like Square and stuff like that, it wasn't popular back then. I'm talking about like 9 or 10 years ago. Taking credit cards on your phones wasn't like a thing back then. It is now though. I'm sure everybody has paid somehow using something like this. So the way a Square account works or an Intuit works, you connect your bank within the app. You just link it up. And then you, all you need is either Wi-Fi or if you're out and about, you just need cell phone reception. That's all you need in order to take cards like that. The payment will go through and be approved within like one second. It's really quick and easy. If you just want to take only cash, that's fine too. But if you accept credit cards, it'll open up the doors for people that don't have money, but they have a card where they can pay you. So anyways, seriously guys, consider selling unlocked cell phones in your city. It's not that hard to do. You just need a little bit of cash in order to buy the inventory. That's just the only thing. Remember to look down below because I'm going to update the prices for all these phones, even the ones that you didn't see in the video, like newer phones, like Galaxy S20 Ultras, Galaxy S21s, Samsung Note 20 Ultras. You wanna see the price for all that stuff? Just look in the description below. All right, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.